We've finally gotten to my favorite of all the bumper crop ingredients, the tomato. I'm gonna make a tomato pineapple relish. Have you ever combined those two ingredients? I bet you haven't. And I'm using all golden ingredients. Golden pineapple, golden tomato, and the golden habanero chili. It's really good. Wait till you try it. So the pork chops are really just a vehicle to serve this delicious relish slash salsa. Today I'm using pork chops, tomorrow chicken, the next day salmon. It's really, really versatile. While those cook, I'm gonna whip that up. I'm gonna make it. I wanna make sure that my pineapple is ripe. If it smells like a pineapple, it's gonna taste like a pineapple. Well, that's my favorite method for testing. You can also do this method where you pull the top leaf out. That works okay, I guess, but it's not my preferred method. I like the smell method. I need about one quarter of this pineapple. You just cut the top off. I like to cut up the entire pineapple, even though I only really need a quarter, and then keep it in my refrigerator so I can snack on it. Otherwise, I find that it just goes to waste, and I hate wasting things. You need one and a quarter cups of diced pineapple. Maybe a little bit more, slightly more than a quarter. Now the tomatoes, remove the core. Aren't they beautiful? You may not think about serving pineapple and tomato together. It's not a really common pairing, but the acidity of the pineapple goes really nicely with the sweetness of the tomato, especially orange or yellow tomatoes, which have less acidity than red tomatoes. I think I'm going to turn my pork. They look pretty good. I'm going to turn them over. On a grill pan, sometimes you want to tent these with foil so they cook through more quickly and more evenly, but I feel like the pork chops aren't too, too thick, so they should be okay. Just let them cook for about five more minutes on this side. Finish up over here. You could use red tomatoes if you can't find yellow or orange. I just love the beautiful color of the pineapple and the orange tomato and the orange of the habanero chili. It's a visual thing. Gorgeous. This is a habanero chili, one of the spiciest chilies known to man. So I do recommend that you wear gloves when you're cutting these up to avoid any mishaps. <laughs> Notice how I am completely not following my own advice and I'm not using gloves. Yeah, I'm way too cool for that. You'll see how cool I am when I accidentally put my chili hands in my eyes and I start searing pain. Then lime juice, a couple tablespoons. I was gonna use the squeezer, but this is a really juicy lime, so I don't even need to. Holy moly, that's unusual and then a quarter cup of basil. You wouldn't want me to finish without putting some basil in, right? You knew it was coming. Basil and tomatoes are a classic combination and basil and pineapple is an unexpected and really delicious combination. So it's really, really good here. Season that up with some salt. They go together like peas and carrots and you didn't even know it, did you? All right, that's it. Just gotta stir it up. Mm. How do you like them pineapples? I like them very much. Thank you very much, Sarah. You're very welcome, it was my pleasure. That's what I'm here for, it's what I live for. Taste it, how does it taste? It's spicy. If you find habanero too spicy, use jalapeno or serrano or something else like that. These feel like they're done. <laughs> it's still so spicy in my mouth. I'm gonna serve myself a plate. Oh my goodness. Spoon some of the salsa on top and you're ready to go. It's fresh, it's unexpected, it's beautiful, and it's delicious. And that's the kind of stuff we like to share with you at Everyday Food. That's the kind of stuff you want.